Hey guys, welcome back to Freak Motion. In today's video, we are going to create an anime explosion inside of After Effects. The process is very simple and you can use this technique for transition as well. So without wasting any more time, let's jump into the After Effects and let's get started. Alright, first of all, let's create a composition. Give it a name you like. Now take the ellipse tool and make a circle like this. Center the anchor point by pressing Ctrl Alt plus Home button on your keyboard or you can do that same thing from the pan behind tool. Now align the circle to the center, open the layer, click on this add button and add wiggle paths. Now open wiggle path 1, change the size value to 400, details value to 40. Wiggle per second value to 0.5 for now and change the correlation value to 0%. After that animation should look like this. Now open scale property and on 20 frames add a keyframe on the scale. Then come back to first frame and change its value to 0. Alright, let's create an adjustment layer here. On that layer add an effect called optic compensation. Now first change it to reverse lens distortion. Then increase the FOV value to something near about 170. The rays animating little bit slower to me. We can fix this speed by changing the wiggle per second value. Let's change the value to 10. Yeah, now it's animating fine. On this adjustment layer, add another effect called roughen edges. Change the border value to 0, edge sharpness value to 10. Increase the scale value to a higher value, near about 700. Also change the complexity value to 5. Now hold Alt and click on the stopwatch icon of the evolution property. Then type time multiplier 400. So that we can get more movement on the explosion rays. Now we need to make the center point of the explosion. For doing that, First make a circle like this, then open scale property and add a keyframe on the scale. Then come back to few frames and change its value to 0. Then after 1 second, change the scale value to near about 160. Then after 10 seconds, change the scale value to a high value. Just make sure that circle covers your entire composition, just like this. You can adjust the keyframes if you want. The explosion center slowly increasing, then at the end it becomes faster, so that it gives the feel of real explosion. Alright, now pre-compose all these layers and give it a name you like. Make 3 copies of the same composition by pressing Ctrl plus D. Then apply fill effect on the bottom layer. Change the color you like. I am using blue color for now. Now copy the fill effect by pressing Ctrl plus C and paste it on the other two layers. Just like this. Now change the track mat of the second layer to alpha mat and change the blending mode to add. Now just offset the position a little bit. Just like this. Now select all the composition and pre-compose it again. Give it a name you like. Alright, let's increase the size of the composition and change the position to the right side like this. By the way, you can place it anywhere you like. Now on that composition, add glow effect. Adjust the values a little bit. Now create an adjustment layer. And on that adjustment layer add another effect called noise. Increase the noise value a little bit. I want the rays to be in white color. For that let's brighten the color of the middle composition a little bit.
and adjust the threshold value to get that result. Decrease the noise value because it's too much hazy for now. Uh, now it's fine. So basically this is our main animation and if you want to use it as a transition then first create a solid layer then take the ellipse tool and create a mask like this also center the anchor point by pressing ctrl plus alt plus home button on your keyboard now open scale property add a keyframe on the scale and change its value to 0 then after few frames change its value to a high value so that it covers the entire composition now place it under the adjustment layer and change the track mate of our composition to alpha and violet now it will disappear at the end of the explosion Let's add a solid layer for background. Keep any color for now just to check our mask is working or not. See the explosion rays are disappearing at the end so you can use it as a transition as well. So this is all for today. I hope you like the video. Thanks for watching. See you guys in the next one. Till then have fun and stay safe guys.